Do a video on the Grundig Satellite 750 on a 80 meters. I'm using a Maypole antenna. Okay, let me show you the signals. How, how well. Look at that. Oh the one with the kids up in there with the yeah, well, the pilot, he says, have you ever seen a grown man naked? Well, do you watch Gladiator movies? Now, let me show you the antenna. Okay. <clears throat> let me show you the antenna, the 80 meter antenna. Right here, it's on the ground. It's not even strung up in the air. You saw how strong the signal was. Uh, the PVC pipe there, uh, last place I was had it at, I could not set up uh, a full stretched out dipole antenna. So I made a 80 meter Z antenna. Look my look on YouTube, uh, ham radio 80 meter Z antenna. You see the configuration. See, this is one side of the antenna. It's on the ground. Look over here. I'll show you. The other side of the antenna still wound up in the coil. I had not stretched out the wire. This is just a temporary test on a little uh, Grundig here. There it is. Going to the bow. Some people call it a balloon. It's setting up a balloon. But my wire, uh, the 40 meter. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Kind of dark. I got the 40 meters stretched out. I need to get some poles. Anybody got any unwanted poles they don't want, they want to give me. Email me, kc6nfv at yahoo.com. Anyone needs to help to build an antenna for their radio, I'm more than glad to help you. You buy the material. I'm more than glad to help you uh, build antenna for you. You know, hammer the opera showed me and I'm on glad it helped you. Yeah, the antenna, the 80 meters just coiled up still. I thought I'd show you. The little Grundig satellite like 750, they received really good. It's about as good as the Yaesu FT950 or 2000. I mean, alright, anyhow, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're going to build your own antenna for a dipole, well, if you want to figure out how much wire you need, like for uh, <coughs> the frequency, okay, for a total length of wire, say for 80 meters, you divide by 468, divided by the frequency. Now you go back again for each side of that antenna, so it has two sides on the antenna, 234 divided by the frequency, and that'll tell you the length of each side of the antenna has to be and if you're not doing like a four to one six to one bow uh one to one you got to use exact same length on both sides of the antenna okay